So over the years, you have purchased a lot of running stuff. All runners buy lots of running stuff. What's like the biggest waste of money, you think? The biggest thing you'd be like, oh, why did I buy this? Sitting down with the one and only Kofuzi, runner, YouTuber, just all around good guy, whatever you want to call him. It was good to finally be able to chat with Kofuzi before the marathon. We talked about a lot of stuff. I mean, I had so many questions for him and he really was a great interview. But there was one thing I felt like I should share right now, especially with uh, the season that we're in, with the Christmas trees and the eggnog and every YouTuber and his brother putting out a video about the best holiday gifts for runners. Anyway, I've always been intrigued by this idea that us runners maybe are just buying too much stuff, just stuff that we don't need. I asked Kofuzi, a guy who not only runs a lot, but a guy who has bought a lot of stuff and has tested out a lot of stuff. And I was very curious, what is like the biggest waste of money? Like what should we not be spending our money on as runners? And I was actually surprised by his answer. Listen. Is it shoes? Is it like gadgets? Is it like, is there, is there a category you'd say or no? Yeah, I, I don't know. I. You know, I hate to throw anyone like under the bus because there's a lot of different companies that are innovating right now. But I do think that sometimes like people love the recovery tools and I find myself using them sparingly. I mean, maybe I don't work hard enough to need them, but like I don't always feel like I need them like every day. Like some people are like, yeah, I bought this so I can use it every day. And I'm like, I don't know that you're supposed to use recovery <laughs> tools that way. Um, and I don't really find myself needing them that way. And so I think that sometimes we're, I think part of it is we're very inclined to like, all right, I bought the shoe for during the run. I bought for clothes for during the run. I have the pre-workout shake. I have the post-workout shake and I have something else for recovery, right? That makes a lot of intuitive sense. But sometimes I'm like, well, I get it. Sleep is the best recovery tool, but sleep is a very expensive luxury for a lot of people. Um, but sometimes I feel like some of the recovery stuff, I don't know if we need all of it. I feel like sometimes us runners can be suckers. Like, I feel <laughs> like they put this stuff out, they're like, we're marks for them. Well, I don't know. I, I think that like, there are some people for like, whom like a massage gun works really well. And there are some people for whom like a roller works really well. Um, does everyone need everything? No, I, but like, and so that's where I feel like sometimes people think and where we can maybe spend some money we don't need to is that we need every single thing. Um, but we, ne we don't always need to, but I also, I'm pretty lucky that I'm a relatively durable runner. So maybe I'm speaking from a position of like, oh, that stuff doesn't bother me. So it, I don't think it's important. Maybe other people absolutely need it. Maybe they're not as durable. So like, I try not to like judge too hard on what other people think that they need. And the, the main reason why I have a hard time with that question too is it's kind of like, you know, do you need that new, remember when like iPod shuffles came out yeah. or like the real, the square ones, yeah. everyone was like, oh, I'm gonna buy it so I start running more. Like you, you really just wanted to buy it, that's okay. And maybe you bought it and you ran for two weeks with it and then you didn't run with it anymore. But like, you know, maybe that is the thing that gets you to run and hooks you on the running this time, right? So some people are like, oh, do you need the GPS watch? Just run by pace. And I'm like, well, if you've grown up with coaches and have been coached from elementary school through college to run, what, and know what a 72 second quarter feels like versus a 78 second quarter, yeah, you maybe don't need the GPS watch. But someone like me who didn't have that kind of training, the GPS watch is great. I love seeing like the tick marks on the board. I love seeing the weekly workout. I love seeing the monthly workout. Those are some things that help encourage me to get that ball rolling to like make that click and that turnover from I do running because it gets me in shape to I do running because I like the running, right? And so that's why like, you know what, maybe having the ball, the roller, the massage gun and the boots, maybe having all four of those things is what gets that going for you, then great, buy it all and enjoy it, you know? But does everyone need to buy everything? Probably not, but find the things that really work for you. So more of my conversation with Kofuzi is coming soon. I've been so busy, which is why it's taken me so long to even put this video out, but a lot more coming soon. His uh, favorite shoe ever, his least favorite shoe ever, his running journey, and oh my gosh, there's this one video. I, I don't even want to like ruin it by telling you about it. It's so good. It's like my favorite thing ever. And it's coming soon. <laughs> it's gonna put a smile on your face guaranteed. It put a smile on his face, but more Kofuzi, Corey, conversation.
soon.